In today's video, I'm going to be taking over Manchester City for 10 seasons, trying to break all sorts of records. Now, we did a PSG takeover a few weeks ago, and we managed to win 35 trophies. That's going to be the goal for today, winning over 35 trophies in these 10 seasons. Sounds fun. Honestly, man, with this team that we've got, it shouldn't be a problem. Manchester City are so stacked. Yo, these 10 seasons could be just us simming through. Of course not. We're going to make some signings, but my God, what a team to start with. Also, in real life, Manchester City have a good chance of making it to the Champions League final. What do you guys think? Are they going to win the Champions League this time? Yes! Definitely. Well, at least for us in today's takeover, I want to win the Champions League 10 times out of 10, if that's possible. Let's do it. All right, guys, first, let's look at the team. So the team is unreal. Like this Manchester City side, I'm going to be rocking a 4-3-3 with like a cam, a central midfielder, a CDM. We don't really need that many changes. Of course, we still can only sign two players. Money is just not an object at all in this, in this challenge because, yeah, we're starting off with 180. That should be more than enough for us to sign whoever we want. I'm looking at this team. There's only one position I want to improve upon in this first season. It's that striker role. Let's go get Man City a striker. And I think you guys know who I'm going to sign. Everybody's been talking about this, but Haaland could be on his way to Manchester City. Apparently, when he was a kid, he was a fan of Man City. So, kind of makes sense. Is this going to be possible? Because we've only got 180 million. I'm saying only, but yeah, it's Man City. You'd expect a bit more. But surely, that should be enough to sign uh, the next big thing in this sport. So, we're going to sign Erling Haaland in this first season itself. That's going to make winning trophies super easy. It's going to cost us everything in this first season. We're just going to accept it. All our money in season one is going into Holland. All right. So we're going to negotiate now with the Norwegian beast himself in Erling Holland. I want to secure this deal as soon as possible. All right. He wants a crucial squad role. You love to see it. A five-year deal as well. Let's freaking go. No release clause. We're not giving you a release clause because you know it's going to get paid by some club or the other. You know what? That contract is pretty reasonable. We'll submit offer. Just 150,000 per week. You'd think he'd want more, but there you go. Haaland to Manchester City. Done deal. There you go, boys. Haaland's been announced, and let's give him number nine as the kit number. I like Gabriel Jesus, but it's gotta be. It's gotta be Erling Haaland wearing number nine. All right, putting him into the team. I guess in this first season, that is the only signing we can make. I'm still gonna be putting... Where do I even put Gabriel Jesus? Wow. Probably instead of Fernandinho? Maybe. That's what we'll do. So for the first season, Haaland's our only signing, but what a team this is. With development plans and forward and all we're gonna see huge rises in the overall let's get through the first season i want to start off with that champions league we've already got a shot at our first trophy it's against leicester remember we're trying to beat 35 that we managed to win with psg so let's do this manchester city versus leicester community shield final it all counts and there you go first trophy already i think we're gonna smash that record i'm genuinely curious to see the kind of ratings we can get our players on i remember when we did the psg takeover we had like a me at 99 overall so definitely keen to get a few players to that those kind of levels so we've managed to win the carabao cup that means trophy number two secured make that three because we won the fa cup as well what's going on here what about the premier league now we won the premier league as well we've just won four trophies yo four trophies in our first season that might be the best start ever what's happened in the champions league though group stages we topped the group with psg in it that's big round is 16 we get through your Juventus, you love to see it. We get through Sevilla as well. We get through PSG with a dominant display and we're in the Champions League final. Nah, man, we could literally win five trophies. Can we win the Champions League in our first season? What's Barcelona doing here? But regardless, I reckon we should be winning this. And there you go. It's Erling Haaland's brace that gets us the Champions League. Unbelievable. That is five trophies in our first season. Guys, I think we're breaking all records here. We are breaking all records. Look at the overalls. Haaland 92, Foden 89. That's crazy. Just absolutely crazy. Look at Ruben Diaz at 91 as well. I want to check the stats as well. I don't think there's anyone else who's going to be competing for top scorer. Haaland is in another league. 38 goals this season. And Kevin De Bruyne are doing bits with the assists as well. We've literally had the perfect start to any of our takeovers so far. Five trophies. Haaland's going to end up winning the golden boot. Let me know your early predictions. But for me, he's going to win over these 10 seasons. De Bruyne, top assist so far. Let's hop in a season two. Also, guys, today is my birthday. I turned 22 and I just wanted to take a moment and thank you all for your insane support over the last year. Just crazy. And you know what would be great if you guys could drop a like in the video. That'd be awesome. Subscribe as well for daily career mode content and let's go.
Look at how everyone from the first team is out on international duty. We're heading into season two with a god squad. I don't even know where we need improvements this season because this team is utterly ridiculous. But we're trying to beat the 35. trophy record that the PSG have got in these takeovers. So we can't be caught slacking. Now we could replace... Uh, I can only see Kyle Walker as the, the replacement we need as of this moment. So maybe we can work something along those lines. Yo, the depth this season city team have is crazy i just realized we've got uh, this this poro guy sitting on the bench with an 83 overall the right back position is sorted and then we've got julian alvarez we've already got gabriel jesus and Haaland, so i'm probably gonna loan him out a player like alvarez doesn't get in even to the bench that's how insane this man city side is you know what since we won everything in that last season i think i'm just gonna wing it this season no signings let's just go through it because i literally can't figure out where we should make improvements Yep, 335 million, and I don't think we can even upgrade this team. It's it's that good. Okay, finally, I think we know where we can sign another player. Mares somehow has submitted a transfer request. I guess we can bring in a right winger. I think signing Rodrigo from Real Madrid wouldn't be too bad, you know. Very young talent. Could be backup for, of course, the man himself, Raheem Sterling, for now. And later on, could be a starter. Shouldn't be too difficult to sign him, guys. He's valued at 40 million. Maybe we can get him for, like, 50. All right, let's see. I'm going to straight up offer 50. We've got the cash. Let's try and get this wrapped up as quickly as possible. They want Julian Alvarez. Actually, maybe instead of signing someone, we can convert Julian Alvarez to a right winger and get him of good use because I don't want to go through this takeover without using Julian Alvarez. Yeah, that might genuinely be the better idea. Let's see. Right now, I've loan listed him. He can surely become a right winger, you know. It'll only take a couple of weeks. He's got the stats. And let's see if this works. Well, since he's right footed, we'll make him a left winger. It should make a difference. There you go. Our only signing is going to be making Alvarez a left winger. That's actually helped out his overall. What a weird situation to be in. We literally couldn't improve our team because it's that good. Well, let's hopefully win all the trophies again. Can we win the Community Shield again? It's against Arsenal and on penalties, we get this done. Trophy number six. Wow, Porto actually won the Europa League, so we're facing them in the Super Cup. Can we win this as well? Yes, we can. Three, two, and that's trophy number seven. Well, let's see. We're playing Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final. Can we win that and make it another trophy oh we lost it wow that's an l wow we really did mess up the cup competitions no fa cup as well but of course we secured trophy number eight by winning the premier league against of course all the other teams um yeah i don't even know what i was saying 91 points five cleared of liverpool let's go but of course this is the big one we've topped our champions league group okay we knock out atalanta we knock out real madrid we knock out psg even after losing the second leg and it's athletic it go in the final. All right, let's do this, boys. We win this and we'll be good with our trophy count. Yes, we do. De Bruyne and Bernardo scoring. And that is trophy number nine. Guys, we're doing due for the Champions League. How insane is that? Back to back. This team is something else. I literally have no idea where to even sign players. We don't need to sign players. We're just going to get through seasons and we'll just keep winning. That's how insane it is. Let's look at the stats for this season. Phil Foden with 38 goals. Are you kidding me? Erling Haaland's in trouble for the top scorer charts. Only 23 from him. Wow, I'm surprised. This is what we're looking at for stats after season two. Two Champions Leagues in a row. Phil Foden out of nowhere is our top scorer. And De Bruyne is still the top assistant. It's going to be a good battle between Haaland and Foden. Season three and all of our attackers are, are looking insane. In fact, every player in this team bar Walker and Laporte are 90 plus rated. My mission in this video is to get a few players to a 99. I think Haaland is the best bet we've got for that oh if we put him on like a complete striker plan he's gonna get to a 94 in 13 weeks cool what about phil foden can we improve his growth with a development plan let's see we've got him on the best one already that's great i want to target them and get them to as high of a rating as possible what signings do we make this season because do we even need to change kyle walker for now i think we can keep him i think it's another season about just keeping the squad we have and just winning the champions league again because this team is goated it's it's another chance to win a trophy. Could be our trophy number 10. Can we beat Fulham for the community shield? Of course we can. It's Fulham 4-0. That's trophy number 10. All right, let's get that Super Cup as well. Come on now. Let's win the Super Cup. Trophy number 11 in the bag. I think we can get away with maybe a couple more seasons without making any signings. But then players like De Bruyne, maybe Kyle Walker next season will get a bit old. So we'll need to make changes. But why are we losing games? I don't get it. We won the FA Cup this season. That's nice. 
Trophy number 12 secured. What about the mighty Carabao Cup? We won that as well. Trophy number 13. What about uh, the Premier League? We won that as well. Three in a row. That's trophy number 14. Champions League, though, we topped our group. Brilliant. We knocked out Barca. We knocked out PSG. <laughs> Liverpool get the better of us. Of course, Liverpool, man. We're not going to be winning 10 out of 10 Champions Leagues. Maybe this is a sign we need to slightly improve our team. But still, we're on 13 trophies for the season. Well, not for the season, but for the three seasons. Haaland's up to 94. Foden as well. De Bruyne is still growing, but look at Walker. He's going down. We need a new right back next season. Phil Foden is something else. How is he outscoring Haaland? I have no idea, but Haaland this time around a lot closer with 31. Just look at De Bruyne. A 28 assists. Just insane. I still can't believe how Foden is outscoring Haaland, but hey, it is what it is. I want to get Foden to a 99 in this challenge. The only player we can sign to replace Kyle Walker that'd be an upgrade would be like, there are two players. One would be Trent, but do we want to sign him? It kind of makes sense to sign him, but with the rivalry with Liverpool, you know what? His contract's expiring. I can't say no to that. Plus, he's 90 rated. We're going to sign Trent Alexander-Arnold at Manchester City. Liverpool, I don't care. I don't care. I'm signing Trent. You know, I do love a contract expiring player we can get him for like 100 million let's do this there you go that's all we need to do this season sign trent alexander arnold and the team is just insane i think every player now in the first team is 90 plus rated how insane is that where's trent let's put him in i think it is like edison the entire back line the entire midfield it's honestly wild let's go ahead and win that champions league back again let's see if we can win the super cup uh, we couldn't win the community shield final i should call it we're not in the uefa Super Cup this season. Still on 14 trophies. No FA Cup this season. We're trophy-less as of now. Carabao Cup at least. Trophy number 15 in the bag. What about the Premier League? Let's go. We win that by only a couple of points, but we've done it. Signing Trent, I think, has helped. That's trophy number 16. What about the Champions League? Winning the Champions League is going to be crucial to, you know, getting one over PSG because we need that Super Cup trophy to count as well. We topped our group here. We got through Barcelona. We got through Manchester United. We got through PSG and it's another CL final. Come on boys, let's make it trophy number 18 by beating Atletico in this final. Job done and what a final it was. This team is just crazy. Finally, De Bruyne is going down in his overall ever so slowly, which is a shame, but it is what it is. Regardless, stats wise, Erling Haaland is king again. What happened to Phil Foden? Just 13 goals? Is he running out of gas? I don't know. Still, good chunk of assists coming in from KDB, Phil Foden as well, Bernardo. Erling Haaland Holland has reclaimed top spot for goals. He's now like 95 rated or something. We need to start pushing him up to 99. Let's go. I think we slowly need to start replacing the old guard because De Bruyne is dropping in his overall ever so quickly. Plus, I just realized Gundogan is, has dropped now to a 79. So I'm thinking, let's bring in a younger sentiment with a ton of potential who can replace De Bruyne when the time is right. You know what? Pep Guardiola is Spanish. Pedri is Spanish. It's, it's a match made in heaven. Pedri just feels like the perfect perfect Pep Guardiola player. Again, contract expiring. What's my luck with these signings, man? Let's just pay his release clause and get this one done with. He might actually end up starting over KDB in this first season itself, which would be insane. There you have it, boys. Pedri is done. That's the signing complete. We've just signed probably the next best midfielder in the world. That's how you retain yourself at the top. Let's quickly put Pedri in the starting 11. I might as well do that. And that's how we're going to look like. Love it. Oh, we've lost the community shield to Liverpool, but super Super Cup, we won the Super Cup, so that's trophy number 19. No FA Cup for us this season. No Carabao Cup as well. What's happening here? What about the mighty Premier League? We win that at least. Let's go. 90.17 clear of United. That's trophy number 20. Let's freaking go. Did we reach the Champions League final? Yes, we did. We're up against Juventus. All right, can we win another Champions League? Let's see. That'll be four out of five, you know. Oh, come on. We end up losing it. Yikes, man. That keeps us at 20 trophies. We're on track, of course, to beat the PSG record we set, but such a shame. Look at Haaland and Foden. We're gonna get one of them, or maybe both, to 99. Haaland with 38 goals for the season. Foden is, you know, trying to catch up. He's now becoming more of an assist star. Sterling with a good season. De Bruyne with another season of 13 assists, but I think Pedri was starting to play more than him. So, halfway through the challenge, we're on track to, of course, beat PSG's record. 
All right, guys, we're halfway through the challenge. Do we need to start making some changes to the core of the team? And look at the ages of some of our best players. I mean, Haaland, Foden, and all are fine. Edison is fine for a few more seasons. Sterling is one we'll need to start looking to replace. Ruben Diaz soon in the future. Uh, Laporte as well. Cancelo as well. I think we can get away with this season. But I still want to make a few signings because we can't replace them all at once. So let's figure out what we want to replace. I think the smartest decision would be to get a world-class centre-back. And probably a solid left back as well. Let's do that. Can't help but think Jules Conde would legit be perfect for this challenge. 89 rated. It's going to be expensive, but hey, we're Man City. We've got unlimited amount of cash. Probably our first impactful signing. Maybe, yeah, to be fair, Pedri is one of them as well. There you go. First impactful signing after, you know, the first few seasons, you could say, because Haaland was a big one. We're going to sign Jules Conde, and that's going to be a big one. Wow, 300 million for Foden. Nah, man, we're never going to sell Foden. I'm still trying so hard to get them to a 99 and fold into a 99 as well but i don't know it's super difficult i don't think this season Haaland's gonna get up in his overall but he's still 25 it is certainly possible phil foden on the other hand we could do it he could really bump up massively in his overall in this one uh this season let's hope so all right there we go jules conde has been signed absolutely brilliant let's quickly go ahead and put him on the bench at the very least and soon he's gonna be a starter over laporte and the canadian alfonso davies is gonna be the man i choose for that left back position we've just got five seasons perfect player to sign for those five seasons i think we could get him for like 100 million what do you guys think 100 million for davies they want 150 fair play let's just spend it and there you have it guys alfonso davies our two signings for the season done i think soon alfonso davies is going to be that starter we need let's put him on the benches but what a bench this is man unreal all right guys that's our team let's go through this season and win that champions league we literally win the community shield that's trophy number 21 just 11 trophies needed in the next five seasons to equal PSG. We've done unbelievably well. No FA Cup for us this season. No Carabao Cup as well. At least the Premier League. There you go. Six out of six in the Prem for us. That's trophy number 22. And we've made yet another Champions League final. Let's win it this time. All right, here we go. We lost the last one. I'm pretty sure to, of course, um, Juventus. Let's hope we're not losing this one against Atletico. And it's a 3-1 win. Trophy number 23. Champions league in the back. Haaland is still 97, so is Phil Foden. I think one of them is going to hit 99 in this uh, takeover, or maybe even both. That's the dream. We're looking at Raheem Sterling for top scorer. How has that happened? Foden with 28, Haaland with 25. Assist-wise, De Bruyne is slowing down a bit, but still 5 assists. Foden with 8, Pedri with 14. Interesting. Haaland and De Bruyne are still our top scorer and top assisters, but Foden is close to both of them. Four seasons to go. For this season, I think we need to slowly maybe get get a replacement for, say, Raheem Sterling or Bernardo Silva. Let's do Bernardo Silva for this season. I think Wurtz would be, honestly, the best pick for that camp spot. He should be like 80. Oh, he's 90 rated already, and his release clause is good. Let's just pay it. Get this out of the way. That's the new cam uh, for the team. There you go. Wurtz signing complete. We've got the replacement for Bernardo in the near future. We've still got Jack Grealish in there, who's 88 rated, and now we've just signed a 90 Wurtz, which is honestly a bit insane, but yeah, that's how things go in these challenges, you know. Don't think I want to make any more signings. We're going to go through this season and let's do it all over again. Can we start off this season adding a couple of trophies? Now we lost the community shield, but come on, at least the Super Cup. Let's go. We win the Super Cup. That's another trophy. And that is, ladies and gentlemen, trophy number 25 and 26 secured. Let's go. And that's another season of winning the Premier League. This time we've got Invincible repeating what Arsenal have done. 100 points as well crazy. And let's see how we've done in the Champions League. Topping our group. Let's go. Knocking out Hoffenheim. Knocking out Juventus. Knocking out Leverkusen. And it's a Manchester derby in the final. We win this. It'll be another Champions League for us. Look at that team that's starting this game. Let's go ahead and beat Manchester United. No way. We've just lost a Champions League final to Man United. That means we're still on 27 trophies, I think. Yikes, man. Holland is 98, so we're very close to having a 99 rated player which is absolutely amazing what are the stats like for this season Erling Haaland on top Sterling with a solid season assist wise now Pedri is starting to dominate but I think we're seeing the downfall of De Bruyne just a couple of assists Foden is coming for him guys De Bruyne and Foden have the same man assist for now we'll keep De Bruyne as the top assist but soon I think Foden's gonna overtake him I think I'm happy with the squad as is like the overalls are pretty fine on most players so we're just gonna smash through this season and see how many trophies 
trophies we can win. We're just five away from equaling the PSG record. And can we start off by winning the community shield? That would put us on 28 trophies, but it's Liverpool. Can we beat them? Oh, come on. We don't get the community shield. No way. This is the first time we've lost the Premier League title to Liverpool. Oh my god. Wow. Are we gonna bottle our record breaking achievements towards the end of this challenge? Hopefully not. We won the FA Cup at least. That's great. That puts us in 28 trophies. What about the Carabao Cup? We didn't win that. Just 28, man. We've won just one trophy this season. What about the Champions League? We topped our group. We knocked out Betis. We got knocked out by Monaco. We're only on 28 trophies, man. In two seasons, we need to get at least four trophies to equal PSG 5 to break the record. Oh boy, now it's getting exciting. But let's go. Erling Haaland, 99 rated. We've got our first 99 rated player to this challenge. Unreal. Phil Foden's gonna get there. I reckon in one season, Phil Foden will definitely be uh, 99 rated, but that's amazing. What are the stats looking like for this season? Haaland with 30 goals. Brilliant to see Pedri picking up some assists, but I think now Phil Foden's gonna get that top assister. I don't think our top scorer and top assist are gonna change for the rest of this challenge. We've got two seasons left, I think. We need to win at least five trophies. All right, I think we need to get like a right winger because Sterling's going down in his overall. So let's let's get that done. I think that's the only thing we need now. And let's get back to winning some trophies, man. Okay, who's this guy just popped up in my global transfer network? Juan Carlos Velasco. He's got to be Messi's regen. 100% left footed as well. Argentinian at PSG. Even he's got the headband like Messi had this kind of a hairstyle back in the day. Let's sign him up, man. A fun signing. Messi's regen in this takeover. I like the idea of that. Let's just give them whatever cash they want from. I want to get this done. 200 million for Velasco. 89 rated. Let's sign him up and put him on a development plan. His overall is going to skyrocket in these two seasons, I feel. It's already 89. And there you go. The signing is confirmed. Velasco joins uh, Manchester City. I really want to go through his stats. First, though, let's put him in the team. Um, Sterling can go to the reserves. That's how bad it's gotten. We can also put Jack Grealish in here. Actually, that is a spot for Sterling. Oh, he can get in here. That's fine. De Bruyne is retired as well. Maybe we look for an additional midfielder. But first, I want to see Velasco's stats. He looks insane. Wow. 99 sprint speed. Pretty sure his dribbling is insane at 97. Yo, what, what development plan do we put on him? Inverted winger seems like the best one. Yeah, inverted winger for sure. Kind of want to get Kamavinga from Real Madrid because why not? We've got so much cash. Might as well do this and secure this squad for the next two seasons to win as many trophies as possible. We still need five more in two seasons. It's not as easy as you think. We need to invest this season so we can, you know, get the job done. 140 for Kamavinga. There you have it, guys. Kamavinga has been signed. That's absolutely brilliant. We've now got another insane midfielder in this team. Uh, he can get on the bench instead of Grealish, maybe. Let's freaking go. Um, we're looking good for the team. I reckon we win the Premier League again. Let's do this. I also want to see Foden at a 99 overall by the end of this season. Back on top of the Premier League. That's trophy number 29. Did we win the community shield this season? And yes, we did. Trophy number 30. Just two more to go to equal the record. FA Cup, we win that as well. 31. What about the Carabao Cup? Make that 32. We've equaled PSG. Uh... No. One more trophy is needed. Have we won the Champions League? We topped our group. We beat Empoli in the round of 16. We knocked out. <laughs> Juve knocked us out. No. In the final season, we need one more trophy. Phil Foden is still a 98. Wow. Why is he not getting up to a 99, man? Have we put him on the wrong development plan or something? I don't know. I, I don't know. I've put him on support winger. Maybe that's not helping. Maybe inverted winger will help him out. Hopefully, we can get him to a 99 in the next season. That's why he's... Oh, my God. How Holland has just scored 44 this season. Velasco's done a good job as well. Foden's going to be top assister, but 44. That's, I think, a record in one of these takeover videos. Holland's already on 304 goals. I think I want to hit 350 with him. It's going to be tough getting there, but let's see. Guys, um, we've just made a massive blunder. It wasn't 32 trophies we won in the PSG takeover. It was 35. Oh my god. We've only equaled the record from that season, uh, from that challenge. We've now got 32 with Man City. We've got one season. We need to win three trophies to equal PSG, four to break the record. Oh my god. Oh! 
I need to make some signings at least. What do I do? Maybe the bench. Bench is looking great. I, I think we can do with a center back, maybe. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll sign a center back to just get a bit of depth there. Maybe Matthias Delict, because why not? His contract's expiring, weakening. There's not for sale. What? Wow, Man United just, that's smart from them, I guess. But we need to look elsewhere. Who's another good center back we can bring in? Upamecano is a good option for the bench. Yep, I like this. I like this. Dr. Delict would have been better, but I need Upamecano in the team. Let's get him. 50 million, 60 million, just just get me Upamecano. 71, done. All right, we should have that center back for squad depth. Also, just realized Edison's now our only keeper at the club and he's dropping in his rating. Let's just get Donnarumma for the final season to just get as many trophies as possible. He's higher rated as well than Edison. I I'm taking this seriously now. We gotta break the record that PSG had. 90 million for you, Donnarumma. Accepted. And I'm not giving you a single player. Get out of here. We'll give you 120 million to just get done with this. There you go. Upamecano accepts. There you go. We just need to wait for Don Ruma to do so. And there you go. Don Ruma accepts the offer as well for the final season. Reinforcing that defense. You'll love to see it. Let's put Upamecano on the bench. Don Ruma over here. And instead of Edison. We're now ready for this season. Let's break the record. All right, boys. Let's do this. We need to win this trophy. These are the trophies that can help take our counter up. We're on 32. Let's beat Liverpool here. What's going to happen? Let's go. 33. Hoof. We're close to equaling the PSG record at least. Such a blunder. I thought I thought we had only won 32 with PSG. Uh, anyways, two more to win to equal. I wish we were in the UEFA Super Cup, man. Such an L not being there. So we're on 33. We need two more to equal. So if we can win one of the Cups and the Premier League, we should be good to go. The Champions League could be the big boost. Have we won one of the Cups? Yes, we've won the FA Cup. That's 30. 34 now. 34 trophies. Carabao Cup? No. Now, if we need to beat the record, we need to win both the Premier League and the Champions League. Have we equaled it? Yes, we have. 35 trophies with Man City. We've equaled the record. Champions League, though. This is going to be it. If we win this, it's 36 trophies and a new record for the TakeOver series. Let's see. We've topped our group. We have beaten Real Madrid. We've beaten Atletico. We've knocked out Milan. We're in the final. We win this game. We set a new record. Oh my god, the pressure is high. The stakes are high. Look at that. Haaland and Foden, 99 rated. The team's more than good enough. Let's do this. Can we win it? Oh my god, no. We've lost on pens. We end up only equaling the record set by PSG. Oh, 35 trophies with Man City. Fair enough. It is what it is though, but this was just super fun takeover, man. I genuinely thought at the start it was 32 the record, but yeah, 35 is tough to beat. We could only get to 35. If only we won that chance. Champions League, if only. Anyways, the team that we've built is just insane. One thing I wanted to show you is the salaries of the players at this stage. Like, look at this. Haaland's making 1.4 million a week. Foden, 810. How insane is that? Stats-wise, Haaland again dominated. Foden's gonna end up with the top assister charts. Yep, so these are your final top scorers and top assisters over these 10 seasons with Man City. And there you go. The takeover of Man City is done. I think we've done a good job winning 35, but I'm so gutted we couldn't break the record. Anyways, I'll catch you all for the next takeoff. If you enjoyed this, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.